When I look back at 2020, I think of one of the most challenging years the United States has ever had to deal with, with the entire world watching. We had to deal with enduring pain of race-based violence, as well as ongoing discrimination. And in the midst of the storm, we decided to collectively rise, advocating for universal human rights, racial equality, and sustainable peace for a better tomorrow. The global racial justice protests in 2020 made me realize that the fight for racial justice is unified across borders, languages, and cultures. As one people, we have a responsibility to address racial injustice and not stay silent when it doesn't directly impact or is too close to our lives. We have a powerful voice. Let's use it for lives depend on it. The global racial justice protests made me question my critical thinking and made me realize that the power of people uniting will always outweigh every act of aggression, hate, and violence. The global racial justice protests in 2020 made me realize how far we have to come in this country to realize the vision of our founding documents that all men are created equal. What we do in protests may not end racism, but it will in the of history. We need to focus on what the challenges are, what the solutions are, and get after it. We should all be treated fairly and equally, despite our gender, race, age, or anything else. I'm determined to harness that global solidarity to advance racial justice everywhere and leave our children with a less hateful, more hopeful world. For the United States to be a credible force for human rights around the world, we have to face the realities of racism and hatred here at home. We can't sweep our shortcomings under the rug or pretend they don't exist. We need to face them openly and honestly, even if that's ugly, even if that's painful. That's how we live up to our values and how we're able to effectively stand up for them worldwide. Today and always, let's commit to accountability, healing, and doing the concrete work of advancing equity and justice for all.